solve simultaneously for x and y. Okay, so obviously we have different methods of simultaneous. You get elimination, substitution. I like substitution. And so with substitution, you're going to take either this equation or this equation. Let's actually go write them down. So minus 2x minus y equals to 10. Your teacher might do like a numbering system. So we'll call that equation number one. And then we will call this one equation number two. Now you can, as I said, you can do elimination or substitution. I love substitution because especially in grade 11 and 12, that's going to become the most, uh, or the, mo the one you're going to use the most. So the way that substitution works is you choose either number one or number two. I'm going to choose number one and you must try and get the x by itself or the y by itself. So I like this one because I see that there's a y over here. I don't like this one because I see there's a two in the front. So that's going to make things a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to get this one over here and I'm going to try to get this y by itself. So I'm going to take the y to the right and I'm going to take the 10 to the left. So you're going to end up with minus 10, sorry, minus 2x, minus 10, and then this y is going to become positive. And that is equation number three. You see how I have the y by itself? So what it means is that y is equal. When something is equal, it means it's the same as minus 2x minus 10. So that means I can now come to this equation and I can replace this y with minus 2x minus 10. So we are going to substitute. That's why it's called the substitution method. We're going to substitute equation number three inside equation number two. So we're going to end up with 3x minus 4 brackets minus 2x minus 10 equals 2 minus 4. So you see what I did? I just took this expression and I replaced it with that y over there. Now I just need to multiply this minus 4 inside this bracket. So I end up with 3x plus 8x because a minus and a minus makes a plus. And then it's going to become plus 40 because a minus and a minus makes a positive. And that's going to be equal to negative 4. So now I end up with 11x on the left and then minus 4, minus 40 on the right because I took this 40 over. And so that's going to give us 11x is equal to minus 44. Divide both sides by 11 and x would be negative 4. So now we have x. So then what I do is I take that and I go and I plug it straight back into this equation because that equation says that if you want to find y, y is equal to this. So I then take this x value and I put it inside there. And so that'll give me positive 8. And then this will give me negative 2. So x is negative 4 and y is negative 2.